Hi, welcome back. Today we've got the Zalfun Alpine Griffin 01 or the Powmax WW27. Depends where you buy it from, what name it's called. It's called the Power Wow if you buy it from Amazon, which is where I bought it from to review. So, this is what you get. So you get the drone, the controller, the drone has a camera underneath, plugs in there, it's Wi-Fi obviously, it's got four brush motors. The controller is a very futuristic space age thing, it's quite heavy actually, as is the drone. It has a pull-up phone holder there. The controller actually doesn't actually feel that bad, it's heavy. And that's because of this contraption at the back that makes it so heavy. So it comes with four prop guards, an instruction manual, a spare set of props and the all-important screwdriver. And that's what you get in the packet. So, it's got 3D flips and rolls, all the typical thing. It takes video, it does, to record to your phone, it records photos to your phone. Okay, this is, without a doubt, a piece of junk. Uh, I think I paid 22 quid from it from Amazon. I may as well got 22 quid and just flush it down the toilet. There is no way this thing will trim out. I'm not even going to show you flight footage because I can't be bothered to set my camera up to do it again. Uh, I tried to do it, it was just all over the place. And I, can, I believe I can fly, I'm not the best flyer in the world, but I can fly. And this thing is absolutely atrocious. It will not trim out. That's about the best it does. So it does start up and run. The controller's actually feels far better than the drone. When, when I first unboxed this, I thought, yeah, this is cheap. It's very, very light. You can probably tell how light it's about looking at it. It's ridiculously light. The gears are ridiculously noisy on the motors. If you look at that, and you can un you can screw the screws, but they haven't even bothered tightening them up. And yeah, you can do it. It's got a camera that goes underneath. It plugs in. I'll tell you what the camera quality were like, but I can't get it to the app. I've tried, I've tried the app that many use, I've tried every other app, all the UFO apps, nothing works. I cannot get a picture out of it, so I can't tell you what it records like. And even if I could. So, when you set off with this thing, it automatically goes backwards. Even with full trim on in no wind, you can just about get it to hover. But then it'll shoot left or right. You certainly can't fly a circuit with it. It really is that bad. I wasn't going to bother reviewing this. I was not going to bother reviewing it. I was going to say, right, let's just put it to one side and let's not waste people's time watching it. But the only reason I've done it is because I think you should know how bad it is and don't be tempted to buy one. I'm going to show you what the box looks like just in case you see one somewhere on a shelf and think, oh, that might be good. So this is what the box looks like. The best thing about it is the box. So if you do see one and it's cheap somewhere, they're so much better. Look at every anything, anything else I've reviewed apart from the watch drone is a million times better than this. So give it a miss. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Sorry if I've wasted your time. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.